a daily routine for Huo Guanmin for over two years now, spending two and a half hours here every day. I'm 80 this year. I'm retired. Before, I was a middle school teacher. The changes he's felt since he started working out weren't immediate, but something he's noticed over time. My feet are no longer numb and swollen. My sleep is better. Plus, since coming here, the prostate-specific antigen marker in my blood tests has been stabilized further. I had prostate cancer and underwent an operation in 2016. Senior-friendly gyms are sprouting up across Shanghai. They cater to those above the age of 55 and have mostly been built within local communities. Construction and rental are covered by the local government, while day-to-day -day operations are managed by a third-party company. The equipment here is specifically tailored to the needs of senior citizens as opposed to younger generations. For example, this treadmill has a lower starting speed and its top speed is pretty modest too. It's also got a safety line in which they hook onto their bodies. If it comes off, the machine will automatically stop. After two years, I feel my state of mind has improved. Also, I've managed to lose weight even though I've consumed more food. Initially, I didn't dare eat too much for fear of putting on weight. But alas, I feel very happy. People here are of about the same age, so we have common topics. At the end of the day, it's so important to maintain a good mood. And more people in Shanghai will get to enjoy the service in the near future. The local government plans to have at least 100 such gyms up and running by the year 2025, from about 30 now. We hope to expand to cover most communities and towns here. We also hope to offer value-added services to the elderly in time, such as customized one-on-one -on -one sessions and perhaps even embedding medical elements in our centers beyond just physical exercise. Industry players agree the supply of senior-friendly gyms is not enough to meet demand. But the road ahead won't be easy. I think the unwillingness of elderly people to spend money is the biggest difficulty facing this industry. This is because they used to live during hard times and have the habit of not spending on things that are unnecessary, even when they can now afford to. But this will change as younger generations age. For Huo Guanmin, he deems the gym membership fees he's paying now as very decent, a 69 yuan or just over 10 US dollars monthly. We're way luckier than previous generations who didn't have such facilities for the elderly. As a man more than twice my age, his advice to the younger generation is to get moving too. Wei Lintang, CGTN, Shanghai.